Well, obviously, I've been an animal lover my whole life, and I consider myself an environmentalist, and often the two subjects come together. You know, there are subjects where animals and the planet, you know, are compatible, and I think this is one of them. These are majestic, incredible, magical, often endangered creatures. We're talking about the world's big mammals, like wild cats, tigers, lions, elephants, primates, which we share like 90% DNA in common with. For me, it was, it was a no-brainer at all. The evidence that we show in this um, video and the evidence of the scientific report um, that we've put together makes it absolutely clear that under the circumstances of constant travel, um, of limited facilities, limited animal facilities, and the time pressure to get animals to do things that they don't want to do, um, animal suffering and sometimes abuse is almost inevitable in American traveling circuses. Hi, I'm Georgia Fox, and um, I, I, I want to thank all of you so very, very, very much for taking the time to be here today and uh, for watching the video. I know it's uh, very, very difficult to watch. There's, there's not really a happy ending in this particular documentary. This is a four city tour also, by the way. You guys are probably aware of that. Started, it began in San Francisco, yes. where ADI has their uh, United States headquarters, uh, I think. Um, yes as well and, and uh, then Las Vegas, Nevada, to today is Texas and, and focusing on Austin and then you'll conclude in New York City. You know, I have a writer friend named Karen Dawn who calls it the ABCDs and it's acquisition, it's brutality, it's confinement and it's disposal. There, there's no, with all due respect to the folks that have done this, you know, there's, there's not a, a positive way to do this. It's, it's, it's just sort of a practice like many other practices, let's say like using asbestos, you know, as insulation, which was a great idea at one point in history, <laughs> you know, or lead pipes was yeah. terrific and we thought it was great and we loved it and it was modernizing and it was fabulous. And now, you know, it's 2008 and we know a lot more than we did and maybe, you know what, it's time, let's maybe, let's put this into the history books. You, you'll almost never see a trainer using this on stage. The reason why is because they use them off stage. And um, the way to contain a wild animal is to dominate it and intimidate it. And um, so this is, this is a mechanism that's often used in that. Uh, it's very sharp and heavy, and uh, it breaks the skin of elephants, which uh, you were able to see here on this footage. What's crucial to the, what we're presenting today is, is the scientific evidence in this report as well as the physical abuse, which kind of you have outbursts of sporadically, regularly. The life that these animals live is one of confinement. When you move them from that trailer or transporter, how do you watch over the person who moves them? The majority of the people who handle the animals on a day-to-day -day basis don't understand the species they're handling. You know, we're, we're, as a society globally, we're having trouble finding natural habitats for these animals and just preserving them for our children and our children's futures. So the last thing we really need to see is them, you know, acquisitioned and then brutalized and then confined and then disposed of. And, um, and it's the last thing I think our children really need to see. I don't think it teaches us anything about how to take care of the planet and, and each other and the creatures on it. Nosotros tenemos campañas en Sudamérica, como en Colombia, Perú, Ecuador y Bolivia, y los resultados han sido sorprendentes. En este momento, la comunidad hispana está llevando el liderazgo en materia de protección de los animales, y no nos cabe la menor duda que aquí, en los Estados Unidos, va a ser igual. Una vez la comunidad latina o hispana tiene los hechos, de inmediato toman acciones. Y eso es exactamente lo que va a pasar acá, porque la comunidad latina es una voz poderosa y esencial para ponerle fin al sufrimiento en los circos. On behalf of myself and Animal Defenders International, we were hoping to present you with some evidence and research that people have been conducting and concluding over the last couple of years. And uh, thank you for being here. We would love to invite you to ban the use of wild animals in circuses in Austin, traveling circuses. I, I think just about every year when the circus comes to town, we, we get a lot of emails and comments about treatment of the animals, specifically uh, elephants. And we do get a lot of comments about elephants. And uh, I know it's a matter of concern to people in the community. And uh, I think it's certainly something we want to take a look at. Thank you so mm -hmm. much.
Really appreciate it. All right.